Oh, there it is. Whoa. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. Just got into Taiwan, and today's episode is a super special episode. We flew in specifically for this most amazing mullet roll fish harvest. It's going to be an amazing video. Let's go check it out. Get ready for the most insane Taiwanese gold street food, the mullet row. You're definitely gonna wanna see this video because today we're bringing you into the farm to see the harvest, watching the full process, and then going into the restaurant for a super luxury Taiwanese mullet row feast. Let's eat. Awesome guys, and here we are in my little editing zone. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge thank you to this episode's sponsor, ExpressVPN. I'm using it all the time, one of my favorite products. Basically, whenever you're online, on your phone or computer, you're leaving your data unsecure, especially when you're on public Wi-Fi, like at an airport or a hotel. Your data can easily be compromised by hackers. They can access your passwords, your emails, they can get your bank stuff, it's not safe. What ExpressVPN does is it creates a secure connection with one of their servers. They have servers in over 90 countries, so all of your data is encrypted and no one else can look into it. No one can access it, not even ExpressVPN or your internet service provider. So you're safe and secure. But one of the big benefits of that is that once you're connected, it's like you're there, so you can access geoblog content, for example, on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, it's like you're there. So if you wanted to watch US Netflix, you would just click connect on the phone, it's one button, or on your computer, and you're there. You can access the whole US Netflix library. It's also really good for getting around censorship. For example, whenever I travel to China and I wanna get on YouTube, Gmail, Instagram, Facebook, boom, connect on ExpressVPN, and it's good. You guys can get 49% off and three months free with a one month, no questions asked, full refund guarantee if you're not happy using the link down below. Check it out guys, I'm personally always using it. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, and here we are. It's four in the morning, spent the night in this little town outside Jai in central southern Taiwan. We're in Beigong and making our way to this fish harvest. It's gonna be a once in a year activity and just look at this, like super quiet in the morning. We're gonna jump in a taxi. Let's go. Zhao Shang, how? Zhao An, Zhao An, here we are. Look at this, it's still pitch black outside. We're going to this fish farm, Wu Yutsu, mullet row. It's a real delicacy out here. This is it. Here we go, guys. Ni hao, Zhao Shang, how? And we just met with Li Lao Ban. Having some tea in the morning, five in the morning. Shisha Li Lao Ban. This is gonna be really exciting. Li Lao Ban was actually just explaining to us that they raised these mullets for three years. San Nian, Dei Ma. San Nian, Jiyo. San Nian. Oh, and Li Lao Ban is taking us right now. Let's go. Okay, here we go, guys. Li Lao Ban is in the front car there, and he's taking us to show us the mullet row farms. Oh, Tai Hao La. Oh, they're gonna take the fish. Ah, she should Li Lao Ban. Okay, this is it, guys. Li Lao Ban's taking us to see how the fish are harvested right from these ponds. Look at this. These ponds are full of mullet row, wu yu tzu. The mullets are harvested for three years. Here we are. Ni hao zhao shang hao. And shui, do han shui, they're all so handsome. Oh, these guys are gonna be get, getting all the mullet row. Wow, look at the masters here. Oh, this big net, look at this. Here's the net going in. Catch the mullets. And this is definitely different from a normal tourist activity, I was just thinking. We like just got in to Taiwan last night, didn't do any night markets or any of the normal like fun tourist stuff. We just come straight to the fish farm deep in the village. This is what it's all about. Here they go guys, look, you can see it setting the perimeter. They're literally gonna take the net all the way around the perimeter and look, these guys are scaring the fish on the sides. Make sure there's no fish on the sides. There it is guys, look at this full circle, full of mullet row. <laughs> look at that guys, all the fish are just underneath that net in there, all the mullet and they're huge. Can't wait to see, oh look at that, there's tons of fish in there. There. They're just gonna connect it in and then open it up. There's a lot of fish in there. And look at the breakfast they brought for us here. Oh, we watch. We got all sorts of Taiwanese specialties. Neuro Miam, bao tzu, soy milk. Mm. And I'm enjoying my bamboo bao tzu to start. Oh, here they are. Oh, let's see what's inside. Oh, look at the mullet row. Look at that nugget of joy. I've never tried this before and I'm really excited to try it. Wow, jiga hen da. Look at this. Next up, we're gonna take this truck. It's like a hydraulic lift. I think what's gonna happen here is they're gonna 
take it to the nets, lift the nets up, and dump it in this ice truck here. Look at this, guys. It's full of ice. I think this is going to be the biggest load ever. It's going to be huge. Here it is. This is the first load from this pond of the mullets. Wow, right on the ice. Oh, it's coming right by my head. Look at that. Woo, look at that. I'm really excited because I've never tried this mullet roe before. It's a delicacy. You have to fly into Taiwan. Really mainly only Taiwan and Japan to have this delicacy. And they don't export this. It's only in Taiwan because there's not enough supply. It's a really rare, scarce. So there it is, guys. You can see right behind, they're just lifting up the nets. <laughs> there's like probably already 20 or 30 nets coming out of this pond here. They've already um, made them docile, so they're not in any pain right now. It's just nerves that are moving the fish, so don't have to worry about any cruelty here. And now Lila Ban's taking us to see the, the processing. Okay, here we go, and you can see the truck in front. We got two loads here. Ma Shang Dao, almost there. Lila Ban's taking us, and we're gonna see the, the most anticipated scene the preparation of the row and the dumping of the truck, which I'm excited to see. Really excited to see. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for, guys. The dump of the truck. <laughs> oh, there it is! Whoa! That's crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> that is insane! Okay, and Lila Ban is bringing the next truck here. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, it's a load, massive load. Look at these beauties here. Full of beautiful mullet row. Oh, look at the beauty there. And uh, all the big ones in the final truck here. Wow, here we go. This cutting is starting. The La Band's just taking the first look of these gems. Oh, there they are. Wow, Juliang Hen Hao. So the process starts. There's a whole two truckloads actually three truckloads to empty out here. The first step is to just cut open each one and get the eggs ready for extraction into these baskets. Let's take a look at this. This is the gold of Taiwan. Wow, and what you do is you just get rid of this and then just pull it out. Oh, look at that! Wow! That's the gold of Taiwan. Taiwan gold right there. Okay, so it's salted and then put in the sun. And then uh, you can bake it. You can have it with fried rice. A bunch of different ways. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> this is the highest quality and you can tell by the size. It's just absolutely giant. Okay, so that's 60,000 NTD. Liu Wan, which is about 2,000 USD. Liang Chen, Mei Jin, for all of these. So can you imagine, one of these is 2,000. We're getting maybe, maybe 20 of these in one day. So, you know, there's about $20,000 worth of fish eggs. And guys, there's another secret here. Right here, this is the stomach. Actually, you can roast it as well or fry it, they said. That's also a delicacy. I didn't know, I thought it was just the roe, but also the stomach is a delicacy as well. Interesting, they said it's also quite expensive. And look at these guys, literally thousands of dollars of fish eggs here. Wow, so many in the truck here. So it's not only the eggs, but also the meat. You can, of course, eat the meat from the mullets. So nothing goes to waste here. There we go, fish and eggs. Both can eat. There it goes, off to the salting station. Here it is guys, we got like maybe eight or nine, maybe 10 of these beauties. Next step is marination. We just drove to the marination station. We're gonna wash the marination, let them dry, roast them, and then bring it to a, a fried rice restaurant and try it with fried rice. But we're gonna get a premium extra big one because apparently in the fried rice restaurants, they give you like a bit, but we want a good amount. Let's go check it out. Oh, here's the salt. yen. So they just cover them in salt and that's gonna draw out all the moisture. And I think actually what they're gonna do is press them with these boards. Look, here's the boards to make sure all the moisture is gone. They're making it into these stacks. Look at that, each layer inside there is loaded with mullet roe. Look at those, wow. Salted, pressed. Here it comes, look at these. Here's the weights. Wow, that's gonna press them. And look at that, guys. You can actually see the moisture dripping out from the broth, pressing it. All of that is the moisture inside the eggs. It's gonna dry it out. The salt is drying it out and the pressure drying it out. And look, guys, these are all the rocks, the bricks. 
get a full workout, just like a deadlift. Ah, okay, let's bring it to the press here. Oh. Come on, Kalima. Kalima. There it is, guys. We just pressed them all down. We're going to wait one hour. They're going to press all the moisture out. We're going to put them on here, see them in the beautiful sunlight, and then we're going to eat. Here we go. This is the moment. Wow, look at all the moisture coming out. They're going to wash it first. And here's one of the final steps before drying them in the sun is to remove the salt. Look at these, just covered in salt, washing the salt. It sucked a lot of moisture out. And uh, wow, it's, you can see there's a definitely thick layer on there. Here it comes. Wow. Thai Piao Liang, look at that. Color is gorgeous. And they were saying they do about 2,000 fish per day here on a busy day. And you can see there's a lot of pieces of row here. Each one of these is about 25, 30 USD. So you can just imagine the amount of revenue that a place like this brings in. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at these beauties. Mullet row. Jalima. Okay, gotta be gentle. Oh, and voila. Gentle. It's almost full now, guys. This full line is almost full. And there it is, guys. Fully loaded mullet row tray. This last step is to put them in the cold room and then they're gonna dry them in the sun for 14 days. Alternate between the fridge and the sun. And after 14 days, they'll be ready. Here we go. Going into the fridge. They put it on this pallet here. Press it down. And then it's going right in the fridge here. There it goes, guys, into the freezer, in and out for 14 days, and the final products are back there. So they rest them even more in the ice cold room here. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, look at that, fully dried in the cold, fully pressed. And this is just a fully loaded ice cold freezer here. It, it feels like it's about three or four degrees. Oh, that's the final product. Chen Pin. Ah, Zui Ho, Chen Pin. Okay, Lila Ban is gonna show us the eels now. Oh, Lila Ban. Wow. Unagi, that's a menu. Look at that, here they come. Wow, look at all those unagi. Look at all the eels in here. These are all unagi. So they're just sorting it based on the size, the big ones and the small ones. Okay, and here we are. Guo Shifu is taking us to a restaurant that has Wu Yu Tzu Chao Fan. We're gonna get some mullet roe fried rice. And uh, we're just making our way there right now. How? Oh, Guo Shifu. Yi Hui Jian. Here we are. Ali Hai Xian Fan Dian. We're gonna get some Wu Yutsu dishes. Ni hao. Ah, Thai Bang la. Okay, Thai hao la. We're gonna get some dishes. Oh, and here we go. Here's the mullet row. Look at that. And Chen Lao Ban is gonna show us how it's done. Here it is. Oh, look at the bubbling. And Xiang Da. And Xiang Da. Smells amazing. So Chen Lao Ban is gonna show us three varieties of the mullet row, the Wu Yutsu variety here. Wow, and this is the first one. Simple, but it looks amazing. It looks like it's bringing out the flavor. Wow, look at that. Look at the inside. It looks like sashimi almost, but it's mullet roe. Cutting up some giant big leek there. Wow, look at that. Okay, my first time, guys. My first time. Wow, look at that. Right off the torch. Chang yi chang. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. How to do? How to do It's really good. The seriously is just like upgraded salmon eggs, salty, full of rich, deep umami. And look at that. You can also eat it with the leek. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. With that leek is good. It's like salty and oniony. It's got the umami from the fish eggs. Mmm. And then that punch, almost spicy onion. And look at this. You can get it with apple too. Let's try it with the apple. So we got the, oh, look at that mullet row. It's got that smokiness from the torch and apple. Let's try it out. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, juicy. And here it is, guys. Look at this. That's the raw mullet roe. Chen Dachu starting out with little oil on this wok here, this pan. Here's the mullet roe. They look like steaks, but they're actually eggs. Orange steaks. Look at that. So he's going to just grill it, 
sizzle it for five minutes. Here comes the flip. Oh, look at that sizzle. It looks amazing. Look at the sizzle there, guys. He's just flipped it. Just needs a few more minutes. That's raw. That's not the sun-dried version. And we're gonna try a few varieties of this mullet roe today. Look at that flip. And Chen Dachu was saying it's gonna be like Q. It's gonna be like al dente after it's done. They call that Q. And then there's also gonna make a fried rice here. Look at that dried mullet roe as well. Here we go, guys. Right out of the kitchen. Look at that. We got the Wu Yutsu. That's the signature mullet roe. And Chen Dachu, he fried it in oil. It's like a sizzled, it's like a steak almost. Oh, look at the eggs there. This is what we just saw the whole process of. Never tried this before. And Chen Da Chu, Master Chef Chen there, he was saying actually a lot of Japanese like this, they actually export this to Italy. It's a delicacy around the world. You can use it in so many different ways. I think they shave it on pasta in Japan, maybe in Italy as well. Here we go. First time, let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Wow. It almost tastes a little bit like scrambled eggs mixed with tuna sashimi. Mmm. And it's got an amazing al dente texture with the most umami, mmm, umami mouthfeel. Okay, and then next up, look at this rice. It's got big chunks of mullet roe. Wow. Seriously, the food and the people in Taiwan are so amazing. People are just so friendly here. And the food is out of this world. Wow, let's try this mullet roe. Fried rice, take it down. Mmm. Mm. That's next level of fried rice. The mullet roe just gives it this extra oomph, like this powerful umami bite. Mmm. Wow. It's one of the must try things in Taiwan, if not the whole world. But this is the most unique for sure. Look at that. You can see the little egg granules in there. They've got this springy al dente feel to them, really nice. And then it's sizzled on the outside, brings out the aroma. That's one of the unique specialties of Taiwan right here. Absolutely amazing, amazing day. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video, guys. Leave me a comment down below and hope you can come to Taiwan to eat these. Mmm. 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 Amazing.